In this episode, we're gonna talk about one of the easiest first jobs you can have as a bartender. Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to another edition of Making You a Bartending Pro. I'm Jason. What I wanna talk about today is one of the easiest first gigs that you can have as a bartender. And one of the better ones is a microbrew tap room. Now, the reason these are so good is that it's really very basic. Most of the time, these just have beer on tap. They don't have any food. They don't have any hard alcohol. So basically, all you're doing is pouring draft beer. So you don't have any of that dreaded, oh my God, what do I do if somebody orders a drink and I don't know it. Kind of downside of this is that because you don't have as many options as like a full bar or restaurant is that you're probably not gonna make as much money either. So here's a little bit from our day down at Culture Brewing's new tap room in Encinitas, California. Headed off to a brewery opening today. Culture Brewing Co. Encinitas, day one. We just got our uh, third tasting room open, so ready for a beer. We're a hyper local brewery, so we don't distribute. You're not going to be able to have our beer in restaurants. You can't get it uh, at the gas station down the street. The only place you can get it is on tap here, so we're hyper local in the sense that we, we really cater to the surrounding community of the tasting rooms, and they really decide the persona of each tasting room. It'll be five years in February. Canning may be the next step, a new tasting room might be the next step. Ocean Beach, Solana Beach, and now Encinitas. Now sometimes when you go into these places, you'll see a huge long line of taps on the wall. And that kind of looks a little bit intimidating. But most of the time it'll be labeled and it's not like you have to memorize, you know, what order all the beers are on there. You know, maybe, but I highly doubt it. Usually you'll have a little sticker that says what the beer is. And then beyond that, you just kind of can sanitize the glasses with the little sanitizer spray. You pour a beer and there it is. Now, even though this is a real basic job in terms of bartending and it's real very simple in terms of its menu and what you have to offer, if one of these places is busy, you still see a lot of the like $1 per drink tipping happening. So it's not quite as good as a regular bar, but it can be a pretty decent gig and it's very simple. So these are great if you love beer, if you're a beer connoisseur, if you have a lot of beer or craft beer knowledge, then this could be right up your alley. Now, if you don't know a lot about beer, it would be good to do a little bit of research about just kind of the basics of beer. You know, have a, a very simple understanding of the types of beers. And also, if you are able to do a little bit of research about the particular tap rooms that you're going into apply at. So maybe you can go in uh, a few days or a week before and as a customer and just kind of try a couple of their beers and, and just, you know, get a, a little sample test flight, you know, where they give you, you know, two or four or six or eight, just little mini beers that you can sample some of their stuff so that you can be a little bit knowledgeable when you go in and talk to a manager trying to apply at one of these places. If you happen to live in an area like San Diego where there's a bunch of these all in one area, then that could be a little bit laborious trying to do that for every single one. But if you do do that, it should pay dividends at each establishment that you're versed in their particular variety of beers that they offer. Now, a lot of these will have just their own drafts that they, you know, their own beers that they brew in house. And then they'll also usually have a small selection of local, other local craft beers. And this will just vary depending on each particular establishment. If they're real new, then they're more likely to have some selection of other local micros around. Hence why it would be a good idea to be a little bit knowledgeable about the various craft beer options in your area. But if they've been around a little bit longer, most of the beers that they have on offer are, are probably gonna be their own. If you have any tap rooms in your area, think about get to know their beers a little bit better and go drop off some resumes. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. If you're new here, maybe think about subscribing so you can get notifications anytime that I have new videos coming out. And if you're a longtime viewer and you'd like to support this channel directly, please think about supporting me on patreon.com forward slash bartending pro. Okay, I think that's it for this one. I'm Jason, and this is making you a bartending pro.
I'll see you next time. Take care.